And uh, last yesterday, we actually chose a house to set up. Which is what your website. How they are responding, how they are responding, and uh, probably give it so that you can guide me a bit more on the marketing strategy. If you are doing well, if you need to engage your strategy, or if you need to change the strategy into the entire. So, um, you know, we were able to see to integrate the Google app. I mean, sorry, Google. Um, and I need this and move the my data into your website to be elastic and some so I can be tracked in Hello, can you hear me now? Very, sir. 
Se cae ya. Ahí déme una please. All right, clearly, that's good. Okay, okay, she say yes. All right, Adisa, Adia, do you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Fantastic. Jim, can you hear me as well? Okay, so um, today we are going to look at, um, you know, um, paid SEO. You know, when we're talking about SEO, we're talking about search engine optimization and um, search engine optimization can be achieved uh, through two uh, key methods um, most of the times everybody speak about just one type of search engine optimization which is also further you know divided into different many methods and approaches under SEO which is called free SEO Everybody, you know, every business and brand today want to get, want to have very good ranking on Google, whereby they want to be able to uh, filter into population of people who are searching for related product around their business so that they can be able to secure customers, all right? So what they do essentially is that uh, they employ certain approaches that help them to rank high on Google. Google is a search, is a, it's called, is, is the most popular search engine. Let me share my screen. Is the most popular search engine whereby people uh, consult like a directory to be able to guide them on what they want to do. For example, I will take you through. Um, so like now, I don't know if you can see my screen. Let me know if you can see my screen, please. I can see, I can see yours. Can you see my screen? Emmanuel, can you see my screen? I can see yours. Yes, I see. All right, thank you. All right. So now, this is Google, for example, is the um, most effective search engine or uh, what you can call a business directory in the world. Okay? So let me type something like... Um, Let's say I want to look for, um, uh, uh, let's say, hotel. Normally use that one, hotel in, the, let's say, in, um, in the New York. Cheap hotel, you can see that, right? You can see that. Cheap hotel in New York. Why is it giving me cheap hotel? Now, it's giving me because most people who search for hotel in New York want to look for affordable hotel in the New York, okay? So, hotel in New York, uh, we also have hotel, New York hotel booking, um, New York hotel list, New York hotel event, okay? So, let's go for cheap hotel in New York. Let's see something. Now, when you look for cheap hotel in New York, now let's look at how many resorts we have in about one second, one second plus, right? We have 250 million results. 250 million results. Now, if we have 250 million results, that simply means that we are going to have about um, how many pages? You can see that the pages is still counting, right? The pages is long. So there are several pages that are in the you know, second page, third page, fourth page, fifth page, sixth page, seventh page, eighth page, ninth page, tenth page. The page is on like that, right? So now, but regardless of this, long list of pages we have some businesses on the front page now if you are into hotel or hospitality business in new york you definitely want to be on the front page right you definitely want to be on the front page so now let's look at the business that are on the front page now we have 
vacation vacationrenter.com we have vacationrenter.com we have all.accor.com we also have momondo.com right then we have booking.com right then after booking.com all right we have this popularity you know map okay popularity map then we have this list starting with booking going down to uh after booking we have hotels.com then we have some of the prominent you know searches how can I stay in New York on a budget? What is the average cost of hotel room in the New York? How can I live in a hotel for cheap? How can I do hotel costs per night in New York? So these are these. Then we also have, um, then after then, now it's also important to look at this. After, after the, what people are asking, then we have another set of, Expedia.com, we have um, kayak.com, we have um, kayak.com again. Then we still have this. Then we also have kayak kayak.com again here. I will explain why it's like this. Then we also have trivago.com. Then we have hotel.com now again, second time. Now let me explain something to you. Anytime you search on Google, and you see this in front of your website you see this ad it means that this advert this page is showing because the owner of this business had paid had put paid advert seo on google that when people search anywhere in the world for hotel in new york that they should show up on the front page you can also see this one. It means they also pay. You can see this one. Momundo also pay. Booking also pay. Now, don't forget that booking show booking is showing here that is paid, right? But when you go down, you see booking again without this ad, without the ad ad icon. What this means is that without ad icon or because booking have been on very good you know and um, has been enjoying a lot of prominence because they've been spending money you know so naturally now they have a natural ranking which is on paid seo so now this is paid high ranking this is on paid high ranking because they become so popular on this list of hotels in New York that even without their paid account, they are still showing up top on the list of everyone else. Now, before I go further, can somebody just rephrase all the things I said now? Can somebody just rephrase all the things I said now? If you understand uh, all the things I said now, please. Before we go further, so that I will not be speaking to the wind. If you understand the things I just explained now, or the way you understand what I said, can you paraphrase what I've said? Okay, sir. Um, you said that um, when it comes to SEO, that people have this, um, this approach to SEO where they device um, some means or some strategies to rank on google but um others um you now told you now say that there is another approach that you can use to rank on google aside from um free seo that is the paid one which is why um some of these people that you just that you search um, their website on Google now, they are 
Yeah, they, they came up, they came out first, and I don't think that's what you want to see. Fantastic! Thank you so much. I'm happy you are able to uh, click all that information. Please, if you chico, you're welcome. All right. So let me now proceed uh, further. So I'm happy you are able to explain that. So we have paid SEO and we have free SEO, right? And I've just shown you that. So what I want to teach you today is how to implement paid SEO for your client. Because um, I'm taking this one first because it's very short and brief. Free SEO is very huge, very complex, not that is difficult but it's, um, there are several approaches for you to be able to build free seo which also take a longer period of time but paid seo can happen within the tinkle of an eye you can make it happen for your clients and i want to show you how it is done okay Okay. I hope you see the address, right? Ads.google.com, right? Now, when you want to go to these ads, if you don't have account there, you will sign in. If you've not opened it before, you will sign in. But because I have account there, I just call in to use my test account. I have a test account I normally use. Now, the account you normally use is just a Gmail. Any Gmail can open this. What I just open now, any Gmail account, once you have a Gmail email address, any gmail can can bring you to this place so now i already have a number of few things i've done here before for testing okay so now let's say that if i come in here i go to new campaign so this place is for adverts is for running adverts on google You can see Google Ad. So the same way I've taken you through Facebook Ad, you can now see that we have what we call Google Ad. So now, like Facebook Ad, the first thing you have to decide on Google, you know, I told you something about Facebook last time, that if I teach you that platform, how to run ad, that you can probably run ad on any platform online because they all have some certain level of similarity. It's like learning how to drive a truck. You probably were able to drive a sports car, you know, drive a lorry, drive a saloon car, drive a Jeep, you know, and any type of brands of car. So now we need to choose an objective for our ad. We have sales, we have leads, we have website traffic, product and brand consideration, brand awareness and reach, app promotion, local store visit and promotion, 
create a campaign without a good guidance. Yeah. You can create a campaign just to float, which is not even the which is not advisable. Okay. Be specific. So let's say we want to drive website traffic. So now we have select conversion goals, group your existing conversion action to improve. Use this conversion goal to improve website traffic. Okay, let's leave that. So continue. So now select a campaign type. We have selected our objective. Do you see this now? This is search. I just don't search for you, right? Reach customers interested in your product or services with text ad. Performance max. Reach audience across all of Google with a single campaign. Hmm? Run different kind of ad across the web. You see some ad bar that, that show up on some website. You can achieve it from this place. Promote your product with shopping ads. Video. Reach and engage viewers on YouTube and across the web. You have been watching some videos that are popping up everywhere and there. You achieve it here. Discovery. Run ad on YouTube, Gmail, Discover, and more. This is Discovery Banner. I hope somebody's eyes just opened this morning, right? This afternoon, right? Let me tell you a secret. From this alone, if you know how to do this alone, you can be making millions from advertisement. You can register a company and work in as an advert agency or as a freelancer on sourcing business. Managing all of these for businesses of like now that election is coming. Some of you can make money doing this for a political party. So I'm going to click on, um, let's say we want to use um, a crossword. Let's choose a crossword. Standard display compare. Okay, let's choose standard. Now, this is the web page people will go to after clicking your heart. Now, that is it. It's called landing page. So let's decide our landing page. So this is our landing page. So this is our landing page, HTTPS sourcing business. Start tracking your website, your website traffic as website conversion. Let's see. Um, a conversion actually is something valuable. Let me see this. Okay, campaign name. What is the campaign name? Uh,
Okay, so now we're on campaign settings. Location. You see, it's already giving us all countries and territories. So you can imagine, let's assume you want to run a campaign that, um, that has to do with maybe like COVID-19, which is maybe like a global awareness. You just need to leave it as all countries and territories. Finish. Or if you feel that, okay, no, it's just Nigeria. You can click Nigeria or enter another location. So now we're going to stay on Nigeria, right? So our target is presence or interest. You can also choose presence, people in, or regularly in your targeted location. Okay. Language. is English. Already. English is already selected. Okay, so after it did, you can now move to next. Okay, set an average daily budget for your ad. So let's see that our average daily budget is uh, 5,000 Naira. What do you want to focus on? Is it conversion? So let's focus on conversion. How do you want to get conversion? Let's do an automatically maximize conversion. You can set a target cost per action and say, I want to pay. Um, Five Naira by interaction. P for interaction. Let's move to the next targeting. So now we target it now. We want to say that we are not going to be advertised to everybody in Nigeria, right? So let's see, let's see what we can do. So just who should see your ad? So let's decide uh, who they are, what their interests and habits are. People who are interested in, for example, maybe news and politics, media, entertainment, technology, you can decide banking, lifestyle and hobby, okay.
So what their interest and habits are. Demography. Okay. Male and female. Let's say we don't want this. We don't want this, we don't want this. Right? Okay. Keywords. Now, let me ask you, what are we even selling now? So let's assume we are selling um we want to say what we are selling is actually hotel right let's say hotel in abuja right No, 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 no. Now, I'm trying to pick up with likely phrases that can be used to find hotel in Abuja. Or National Assembly.
as a rock. Okay, so done. So just website apps and video about a certain topic. Like entertainment. Food and drink. It's only like vacation. Travel. Placement. So just website video what I'd like to show your ad. Okay. So if you have website in mind, you have to search if you have YouTube mind YouTube channels in mind, you have to search. If you have apps in mind where you want your ad bar to show up. You have to search for them, like, uh, let's see. So now you can select if you have any of this in mind and say, okay, I want to show up on this. Okay, let me search for something like a Lumia. Now, the website I can show up on this place are website that have allowed Google to place advert on their platform. So you need to have an idea of the type of website you are selecting, which you know that they will allow advert to show up on their platform. Like sourcing business, we don't allow a paid advert to show up on our platform. So you cannot select us. Let's see, um, Conga. So you ought to have um, an idea of apps, YouTube videos, YouTube channels that you want to use. Let me see, okay. Kasi Kunga is coming out. Let me go back. Website, we have Kunga. Okay, can see them, gg.ng. Kamats. So now we can select eBay.com. I want to run my advert. eBay.uk. 
I want my advert to show up on all those platforms. The advert of my client, I want to push them to this level, okay? And I say done. So let me just stop. Okay, let me go back. Um, let's go back and say, okay, YouTube channels. So they are showing you the number of subscriber, okay? The strength of those platforms that they can show you. So you want to run advert on their videos. Some of you, when you are watching videos, you used to see advert coming out. This is how it's done, okay? All right, um, let's say we want to choose from uh, apps let's look at apps let's see what's there okay gg gg uganda gg kenya gg nigeria okay jumia shopping nigeria we want advert to show up there okay so done Let's move to the next. All right. So now we want to set up our. So our our final URL is here. Business name. Sourcing. Business. So let's select image. Let me let me let's just pick this one and use it. Trying to see if our image is coming out now.
Momento. So let's assume I want to put logo. Let's put um, how to set up your profile on sourcing business. Are you guys with me? Let me know if you are with me, please. I'm with you, sir. I'm with you, sir. Right. Awesome. Huh? All right, so 
if you had followed me from the beginning, you probably would have seen that we are creating something that you are familiar with each day you are browsing on the internet. So most of the adverts you have been seeing all these years on your mobile app, on website, on Google, adverts you have been seeing when you watch video, this is how they create them for those companies. And now from today going forward, it means that you also can now do the same, all right? So let's assume this advert is for real. The next thing for me to do now, you can see, is to publish campaign. But because there is no payment on this account, we can't be able to publish. So let me just eat on publish campaign. Can see now. How these things are done. So it's like driving. When you learn how to drive, you have to practice for you to be able to blend your seal. Have I stopped pre presenting? Uh, yeah, I think I've stopped presenting. Okay. Okay, guys. So welcome back. Um, yeah. Hello. Are we there? Are you there, guys? Okay. Thank you, okay. You are so much here. That's good. So most of the adverts you see on the internet, you know, you see outside when you open an app, you see adverts coming up. When you open GG, you see adverts everywhere. You open Jumia, you see. So now, like Oge now, Oge is the CEO and founder of Post Smoothies, and now she just understand how she can run adverts that can show up a product, you know, in the categories, different directories. That has to do with you know um uh maybe um, food and drinks health and wellness websites around the world that accommodate paid adverts because most of those websites because they have a lot of traffic they are open to adsense payments they want google to be able to pay them <laughs> so when you run advert and your advert is pushed to those websites and people respond to those adverts they get payment from Google. But let me tell you the interesting thing about this kind of advert. When you run this advert and your advert is showing up on those platforms, if they don't click it, you don't pay. It means that your advert will be everywhere. Your, your brand is flying everywhere. You don't pay so much because if they don't click on it. And if they click on it, it means that they are interested in your product, right? So when they don't click on it, they keep seeing your advert, you know, on Jumia, on Gonga, on Google search and everything. And you're actually not paying so much because they are not clicking. But if they are clicking, you'll be paying. But it also means that those who are clicking are probably interested in you know, patronizing your business. So this is what you do as a freelancer. If all you do alone is Google advertisement for companies, it's enough for you. To work as a freelancer you just go as social business set up your account and say i am a google advertiser and beyond this training go and watch more videos you know you know like i said it's like driving when you learn how to drive it's so easy but if you don't practice you can have a blended and you can be able to have strength you know ability to be able to handle steering and even drive and gisting and the rest of it so it's about practicing so you have to go on i've shown you how it's done so you too go and use your own gmail you know to be able to practice and go on youtube to search for other related similar videos okay and watch right so we're going to stop here uh there's no need taking so much of your time okay 
So if you have questions, please go ahead and ask your questions. Uh, we call it a day. Patola Kende, you're welcome. Yes, Emmanuel, sir. are you there? Yeah. All right. Yes, I'm So here. do you have any you have any questions? I have a question, sir. I have a question. Please go ahead. Eat me with your question. Any question for the day? Okay. <laughs> I eat me. You know, sir. Yeah, you are yeah, hearing me, sir. I can like, hear you clearly. Okay. You choose five thousand for the um, budget. Yes. Like for example, but you and you can we choose like okay we should pick like ten ten error per click or is it and is it that the click we are making per okay the maybe it is five naira or it is twelve naira or it is fifteen naira is is it no. that means that the the ad will go very far and also. Assuming that okay, we we've choose a certain amount for your for the click. Can we like if if I thought the uh, maybe the five thousand now, like the five thousand people have access to something. Uh, yes, what can we do to the ad? Are we going to add another money to it, or what is going to happen? And that also, okay, go ahead. And also. I saw something like CPA. I used to hear CPC, CPA, all this. Click. I don't. That's click per this. Either click per conversion, which is okay. click CPC, or click per, uh, maybe is it click per, um, that could be CPC, which is click per conversion. Uh, CPA is a click per, um, you know, they all, you can Google them. All those uh, okay. codes, you can Google them and see all the, the full meaning of those things. But what they are trying to say is that they are asking you, how do you want us to charge you? So okay. if you don't know these things, you will know that you can save a lot of money. Mm. They're saying, okay, how much do you want us to charge you? But this is the advice I'm going to give you. If you are going to okay. run the advert for the first time, don't yeah. limit them to per click. Don't give them the amount they should charge you. Okay. Are you with me now? Leave yes. it. Tell them I want to spend five thousand naira in a day. Now they are going to be showing that advert to a lot of people based on your selection of, you know, traffic. Then okay. they will be making sure they want to see if they can exhaust that money. People responded okay. to it. When that okay. first day passes, go and check. Look at it. How much did they charge me per click? Okay. Cost per click. CPC cost per click, not cost cost per uh, conversion. So CPC. Now, when you now see cost per cost per click, let's say maybe sixteen naira or twenty five naira. Now okay. the next one you want to do, you can slash the money and say, now I want you to charge me nine naira per click. Okay, okay, okay. So when you now do that, you have been able to force them to. It's just like when somebody you price tomato and they say that tomato is a uh, two hundred naira. I said, let me pay 150 naira. You understand now? So, yes. Yeah, but at but if you price too much, uh, your advert may start being, you start doing, you know, slowing down because you are paying too less. So, it's good, so actually, for you to put good budget on what you are selling so you can be able to get the conversion. Okay, yeah. and also one more question. Go ahead. Right. Okay. They, they, they used to say CPA tracking, like, is what is the meaning of cpa or, or cpc tracking um yeah i am tracking ad what do they mean by that and also like okay athletes link are traveling and you know you taught us about seo too you know there are yeah. some these of seo that we you do backlink yeah like we look all those backlink others will come on that free seo we look at those okay. ones on that free SEO. what i've tried to show you today is paid seo Sharp, sharp. A company, hotel, for example. Now, if if you, let me show you something now. Let me just show you something now for you to know how you can make money right now, now immediately. Let me show you something.
after booking.com do you see any other, any other hotel in abuja on paid adverts on front page hello can you hear me yes i can hear you sir now did you just observe something like that it is only booking.com that is on the front page in the whole of abuja right yes. this is enough yes. information yes. for you to write a proposal to any five-star hotel in Abuja. This, I just want to show you. This, this is, a, is a something you can use as an analysis in your proposal to tell any hotel that you know can afford to pay. And say, look, I'm going to put you on the first page of Google, Google search. So you can imagine, only booking.com is on the front page. I've known this, that's why I search it. Let me search another thing. Let me, let me get another, another shocker. What did, you, what did you just notice now? Can you tell me what you noticed? I want to see if you got it. What did you notice? This is the beginning of the page. Banks in Nigeria. There is no single bank in Nigeria that is the rated, rated before even corporate finance institute that's the first one you see telling you that you know before when i search like this i used to see zenith bank it used to be zenith bank now what does that tell you it tells you that even bank is a good catchment for you as a google advertiser hey yeah, you cannot see now you see bank you see is this any here because Zenith has invested on paid SEO. You can see that if I didn't see it before, but I just Zenith is the is the first bank you see in Nigeria, top, followed by Access Bank, which means that for some time too, Access Bank have done maybe some paid SEO. So it has helped them to rank up. Because if you go up and search, you can see the number of results that will probably come. Okay, the number of results is not even showing. Okay, let's go and see maybe private pages. Okay, you can see it's several pages that are available. So for these banks now to, rate, to rank, to come on the front page, they need to do paid SEO. Maybe Echo, maybe yeah, like Echo Bank, maybe Stanley Bank, IBTC. You know, you can talk of so many Union Bank. You can talk to Union Bank. Let me put you on the front page. You know, yeah, so many of them like that. All right, so I just have to show you that. So what am I trying to say is that Paid SEO is the fast and immediate SEO process that can put a brand on the front page of Google search. And I can meet them to show up on a lot of different platforms that you can educate them about. Many of them don't know. All right. So that is it. Yes. So, um, so that's, have I answered question. your question now? Yes, but I want to add one to it. Please, please. Okay. You see now, you, like we have a like a, if you work with a bank, you want to make them rank at the first page. There is this yeah. thing that they used to be on the map too. What's what is the meaning of the map? That's just my question. Is it Google Map? Maybe they need to register their account on Google Map. That's one of the ways to be able to increase your ranking on Google. Your business has to re be registered on Google. You can Google on how to do that. It's very it's very easy and simple. Or I can teach you next week. How to register a business on Google. Now, okay, go ahead with your question, please. So the question I want to ask is, does the amount of money you use to run a Google ad, does it affect um, the number of people that see your ad? Like, for for example, yes. if you okay. run an ad on, on other social media platforms, say Instagram or, or Facebook, um, the amount of money you, you spend in, in running the ad can affect the number of people that can see your um, you add so does it yeah. affect the number of people okay so the other question i want to ask is okay. so we, we are in products we are in products and service-based business how can yeah. we you know target customers that can that can you know like the ad and actually buy not those i'll tell you i'll get back to you or yeah it, it looks though though they're, they're like wasting your ad money they'll click yes. on your yes. ad but they won't buy 
They will now say, I'll get back to you. That's like, that money has gone. So how can we now, target people that, you know... The yeah, best way to them. target them, the best way to target them is not to use Facebook. It's to use Google Ads. And this is how you target them. Target, use products that are similar to your product, that are selling and well-known to configure your handbag. So when you do that, when people search for those products, they will not find, they will not begin to stumble on your advert as an alternative. Let me give you an example. Of recent, I helped somebody to search for schools in UK, all right? Universities in UK. Okay. Immediately after that, after, after that search, I went to Facebook. The next thing I started getting is adverts from UK universities. So what they've done is that if I have a hotel in Abuja, for example, and uh, my hotel is a uh, Femi Johnson International Hotel, which is not known. I just have money and build a five-star hotel. I'm going to be using Sheraton name to sell my hotel. So when you are searching for good hotel in Abuja, you are looking for Sheraton, you're looking for mention names now, you guys should know the name of five-star hotel. You know, when you're looking for those kind of hotel, then Femi Johnson International Hotel will now be showing up to you. So that is how you sell your products to people who are like. So that the means bag. the place we're going to target them is the, at that place where you, where you want to put in name of comp, um, uh, um, keywords, right? Keywords. Yes, you use keywords. Then you now use platforms like GG, like you know Conga, Jumia, because those platforms people are selling products that are really related to your products on those platforms. When they okay. go search for those kind of products, maybe they search mm -hmm. for smoothies health and wellness now your advert will not be shared on their on their on their on their internet okay yeah once they search, even if they search on google too just innocently if they go on facebook or something google will show your advert to them okay. yeah so that's how it works all right yeah that's great okay any other question this afternoon before we close No question. Emmanuel, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Fantastic. All right. Okay, so let's call it a day. Thank you, guys. Um, we'll see you again next week. We'll see what we can do next week. SEO is very big. I mean, the free SEO, I don't always like to touch it because there's so many things to talk about. And uh, when I teach you, I feel like I've not given you enough because you have to start from blogging to content to keywords to your website keywords, you know, of, of, um, of a revamping, a lot of things. That so I'll just look at maybe seven things that you can use to help a brand to increase their SEO you know, on the internet. There are so many aspects, so you continue to learn. The more you learn, the better you become with SEO, okay? But this is the cheapest. But because it's paid for, many people always shy away from it. All right, guys. See you next week. Thank you. I have to end the video now.